MGTV Η ομογένεια κοντά σα. Katsos, Elias Katsos, and I'm the uh, chairman of the uh, Educational Co Cultural Committee of the Hellenic American Chamber of Commerce. Tonight we're going to have a lecture by Dr. Kutanelakos on uh, ethnic uh, identity and cultural practice. Dr. Kutanelakos is, uh, is a psychologist, social psychologist, um, a professor, has written a lot of uh, uh, works with regards to, uh, to ethnic identity and has done some uh, very interesting research that he's going to speak about uh, today. Uh, this is part of the um, Educational and Cultural Committee of the Hellenic American Chamber series, where we bring together various professors to talk on different issues. Uh, the last uh, series that we had had to do with the Hellenic Revolution, where we had three professors talking on different topics, and tonight we're going to enter the field of psychology and ethnic uh, identity. Hellenic Revolution? And we had a series of professors speaking on different topics. Uh, and it was uh, quite a spectacular event. So we, we intend to continue these type of events. And in particular, we are very pleased uh, uh, tonight uh, to have the, uh, the partnership of the uh, Hewins uh, Federation, uh, the Greek American Behavioral Scientist Institute, the Greek American uh, Writers Association, the Hellenic Link, and the Hellenic American Educators Association, UFT, sitting in the back. Um, yes, you are the best. You are, you are the best. You are the best. Uh, Dr. Kutelakos, uh, many of you know him, obviously, because he is a, a well-known figure in the academic community. Uh, he is a professor. He you know, has a distinguished uh, background and history and has written a lot of articles on the issue of uh, ethnic identity and he's also a member of, uh, of our committee so we're very pleased uh, that he's with us tonight it's actually our honor and again just discussing the organizations and how we are going to deal with uh, with future events understand you all have your own organizations and uh, the Hellenic American Chamber is there really to to help and assist you in any way we can so the fact that we're getting together tonight uh, is, is, a, is a beginning and a very nice, uh, very nice beginning. And in the future, we're going to have various type of lectures that relate to all types of industries and uh, really bring out the, the talent that we have within, within our, our community. So uh, if Dr. Kutelakos is ready, it is my pleasure to introduce him. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to be here with you, and for me to be a speaker is really a privilege and an honor. Of course, my topic is ethnic identity. You all know that. It's based on my own research, the research I have read, and some thinking I've done in the past several years on this topic. Now, I want to emphasize that I'm going to use the outline I would ordinarily use for uh, writing a report for publication. But I will eliminate, I will use the outline I would ordinarily use for writing a report for publication, except I'm going to leave out the methodology section. It's very technical, it is very detailed, I'm not going to burden you or me with that. Instead, I want to include some personal observations and experiences, because I'd like to take the research down from a completely intellectual, abstract level to something which is more meaningful and everyday, so that you will enjoy it 
and it will have more meaning for you. I would also like to add that in my presentation, I do go into some detail about the kind of racism, prejudice, which Greeks very early in the 1900s experienced. I know there's a strong tendency to want to look away. It's not pleasant. It's in the past. No, we should not look away. It's part of what we experience, our parents, our grandparents, and we should acknowledge it, face it, know it, because it really tells us how much has been accomplished in spite of the racism and these barriers. And if we understand that, we'll understand better where we are now, and that book can make a better future for ourselves. The other thing I want to say up front, I believe ethnic identity is very important. It has been important, it is important, and it will be important in the future. I know in our community there are some people who say, why bother? It's in the past. I don't agree. There is research showing how important ethnic identity is. It was lost when they came here. What was the loss? The genocide? No. They lost family, grandparents, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, close friends. When they moved here? Yes, when they came here. What do you do? You try to find other Greeks. And you try to reestablish the basic institutions that give you some continuity of faith and identity. And you become a very tight community. And sometimes you're more conservative than the Greeks back in Greece. And you carry in your wallet, it so it seems, a photograph of what Greece was like as described by your father and grandfather. And they forget how much Greece has changed the last 50, 60, 70 years. So we can become, not all, but it is an issue, very conservative. No, I don't want to end on this note. I have a better note to end on. We have every right to be proud of our accomplishments. The level of education, income, the contributions we make across many, many professions is very high. I don't think we could have made all this accomplishment if we didn't have a strong ethnic identity. And that's my fourth reason for saying to you, ethnic identity is important. Thank you and good night. What I'd like to do is uh, personally thank uh, Dr. Dolores for a wonderful lecture. And, uh, with us, with us tonight also is the, uh, the Council General uh, of the Hellenic Republic, uh, George Indiopoulos, and I'd like to invite him to say, to say a few words. Uh, thank you very much for this wonderful talk. It was really uh, very nice and, uh, and uh, enlightening in many ways. I have a few answers for you. Uh, why did the Greeks keep uh, their identity for 400 years under the Ottoman Empire and struggle to do so here? It's because there they weren't allowed to have an identity, whereas here they feel free to have an identity, so they lose it easier. The question I would have, but the, I didn't ask, was uh, if ethnic identity is so important and uh, does uh, contribute to the accomplishment of the individual, then uh, uh, losing an identity, of course, is wrong, but how about replacing it? Uh, in this case, uh, what we see here quite often is for Greeks to become Greek Americans and then become Americans, of all the generations, of course, I'm not saying uh, over one generation. And, and this is what I find the greatest danger, that uh, at the end of the day, assimilation does take place over a couple of generations, and uh, it's not losing, but replacing, or people feel, at least, that they are replacing it. 
It was great uh, listening to this uh, wonderful speech and, and research that you did, and uh, we feel all grateful about it. Uh, I think we should uh, organize more often lectures like that, and uh, well, spend time uh, talking and exchanging ideas. Thank you so much again. Point obviously, this is not uh, just one lecture. It's a series of different lectures, different fields, and. Uh, what I'd like you to do is just take some time. There's a lot of questions out there. There's a lot of comments. There's a lot of back and forth debates on different issues. So take the time. Enjoy yourselves uh, tonight. Stick around and uh, have some fun. Thank you for coming. I believe ethnic identity is very important. It has been, it is now, and it will be in the future. I take issue with some of the research which says that Ethnic identity is less important for white groups. My reaction to that on a gut level is depends on the group you're talking about. Not all white groups have the same degree of ethnic identity, and some white groups, as shown by my research, can preserve their ethnic identity by engaging in certain cultural practices, which they have learned in the past. What they learned in the past was that Schools and church can preserve ethnic identity across generations. Uh, we'd like in particular to thank uh, MGTV, uh, who's always there uh, uh, focusing on these type of events. A tremendous company, and uh, I hope you are watching and I hope you uh, explore their activities.